Well, hello YouTube and welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another video tutorial. Today's tutorial, I'm sure the title always gives it away, is going to be setting up a Python virtual environment with Windows 11. Now, I've received a lot of emails. People said this is a very hard task, but I'm going to make it as easy as possible so I can show you the steps and we will walk through these together. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up your command window. Okay, so I have a command window open, and you see it opens to Windows System 32. So we're going to do a change directory and two dots. It goes to Windows, change directory, space, two dots again. We'll go down to C drive. Now we're simply going to do a DIR. Okay. Now in here you can see that I already have the folder created for programming. I would suggest that you do the same thing. Keep all your programs or all your code. Maybe you can create a, a maybe we'll do that. Let's go ahead and just make a directory here for code for all of our uh, all of our Python code. So mkdir and we'll call it code code. Enter. All right. Now I'm going to clear the screen. CLS. We're going to do a dir. And we'll see now that we have a folder in here called code right here at the very top. You can see my mouse here. Right here at the very top is code. So let's change directory again, CD, and we'll go into code. All right. Now if we do a DIR, we can see that it is very much empty. Do a CLS to clear the screen one more time. And now we're going to simply go ahead and create a directory. So make dir and we're going to call this um, whatever you want to call your project project one okay now if we do a dir we're going to in fact see project one let's go ahead and go into that directory cd project one and yes you can create these <clears throat> through the gui interface and you can go into your uh, windows explorer and you can go ahead and just right click and, and create all these but let's face the facts. You guys want to be programmers, you should do it through the command line so we can get used to doing all this together. Simply clicked OK. Now we're in project one. Now what we want to do here is set up a virtual environment for our project. Now virtual environment, as you know, or maybe you don't know, stores all of our needed components for this particular project. Components such as anything you use pip for. So if you do a pip install, all of those dependencies will be in the virtual environment. This way, you don't have to worry about your project when you package it up that anything is missing. Let's put in there Python dash M space V E N V space. And again, whatever you want to call your virtual environment V E N V. Hit enter. And what this is doing right now is creating that virtual environment for us inside of our project one folder or whatever you want to call your code whatever you're working on so now that we did that we can go in here and do a dir and in fact you can see our virtual environment so if you do a cd space v e n v dir there's our virtual environment we have our scripts our include and our lib Okay, those are our main three folders inside of our virtual environment. What you want to do now is type, well, let's type CLS and get back up to the main screen here. All right, now what you want to do is type CD space dot dot, and this will just take us up one level to the Project 1 folder. Once you're in the Project 1 folder, you simply want to open up. Now we are using Visual Studio Code. I don't know what editor you're using, and it doesn't really matter. But here, we, if we want to open up Visual Studio, we will type code space a single dot. And this will open up our Visual Studio Code right inside of that project's folder. Okay, we are going to trust it. Yep, that's good. Okay. Now we can click on it here, and we can see that the virtual environment is here. Here's the include. Here's the lib. Lib is where all of your utilities are going to be stored. And here's your scripts. Okay. So these are all the different scripts that we have running at the current time. 
But now what you want to do is you want to do what they call activate your virtual environment. I always suggest to do that inside of your editor. You can also do it from the terminal of, or from the command window. But we are going to run terminal, new terminal. Now when you do this, you can see that we are running PS here. Right at the bottom, see that? PowerShell. Let's bring this up a little bit. So that is PowerShell. Now to activate this project or this virtual environment, what we are going to have to do is we are going to have to run a script. And this is where a lot of people are getting confused. Here's the PowerShell script. Activate bat is a script that you're running in the command window. Activate PS1 is what you're running inside of PowerShell. Since we are in PowerShell here, we're going to be running that particular script. Activate.ps1. So we're in the script. Okay, so change directory first and go into virtual environment folder. All right, now you can change directory and go into scripts. Just like so. Now to activate this virtual environment, all we have to do is put a period and a forward slash activate, okay, dot ps1. And once you do that, sure enough, if you look at your, your command prompt here, you can see that we are now in the virtual environment. That's how we can tell that we're in there. So if you're going to install something here, let me try to think of something off the top of my head here. Pip install. Let's try pi simple GUI. Enter. And this is going to start pulling down the pi simple GUI. Now you may get this message here. You should consider upgrading the pip. Okay, this is what this is saying. We're using a different version of pip. To do that, it's very easy. See with these quotes here? There's a single quote here, and there's a single quote on the left. Start from the right and just highlight that. We're going to copy this out. Okay, we can paste it right here, right at the command prompt, and simply click, uh, hit your enter key, and that's going to install the new version of PIP for you. All right, do a CLS to clear all that screen out. Now if we look over here on the left, okay? Remember I told you you have these packages here, lib, right? Site packages. And now you'll see in here, pi simple GUI. And as you can see, that is what it means to go ahead and install all of your uh, dependencies or all of your add-ons to Python using the command line. That's why you're activating this because you're telling Python that you want to put this in the virtual environment folder and package it with your program. So I hope that this tutorial helped you out. I hope that it clears up a lot of stuff out there from people. Uh, and I also get a, a message all the time, people saying, well, how do I start my actual projects? Well, that's a good question. So if you have this folder open and you're highlight on it, you don't want your project folder, your project files to be inside of this virtual environment. You want to click on the big the highlighted screen here. Okay, close your virtual environment. Click on your new folder, and you would just start typing. Okay. So I hope that this helped you out to more to more completely understand how to build a virtual Python environment using Windows 11. It's really not that much different than Windows 10. I don't know why a lot of people had trouble with this. Uh, it's very, very straightforward. And again, I hope that this helped you out. If you have any suggestions for future topics on Python or something you might want to know that maybe you're stuck on, please leave that in the comments below. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Give it a little thumbs up. And I will talk to you in the next video. Until then, keep coding. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.